Hi, Bill Schmidt here again from the uh, Solutions Consultant Group for CED of Eastern Nebraska and Southwest Iowa. I'm going to go over quickly how to import, convert a old classic panel view into new panel view plus. So I go into Factory Talk View Studio, go to Machine Edition, uh, New Application, create a, a, a unique name, test, blah, blah, blah. And the key is here the import button. Click the import warning about version 2.1 or earlier. Probably won't work. Bring in the panel builder application.pva, first one. You can also do the terminal one, the PVA, but in this case I'll do the PVA. Uh, navigate to it, which I have on my desktop. Example one here. I'm going to open this up. Click next. Um, now here's some options to us. Uh, the biggest one is the font. I'm going to choose default, but oftentimes um, uh, if you have to change anything, it may be the font because of conversion between the old really blocky stuff to whatever it is. Um, I can also do scaling here at this time. I'm going to convert it to the application size. It's going to scale the graphics for me. Um, so um, go ahead and hit finish, and then the import conversion process happens automatically. So the reason I pointed out the font, was because oftentimes if the font looks really weird and stuff like that, your best approach is just delete that whole process, start over, but choose a different font uh, that may be more appropriate um, if the fonts don't work. Otherwise, it, you you could go through and manipulate the fonts, but m my experience has been delete delete it, start over. It's it's a fast process as you're, you're observing here, um, and choose a, a different font that may be more appropriate. Um, right, so let's see how we're, we're progressing here. Still have the spinning wheel. Um, do you want to allow this app? Um, do, 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 yes, I, I would like to have those changes made. Thank you very much. So going through importing and converting. So it created the project, and now it's actually going through each individual screen, bringing that in. Um, the conversion process is pretty good. Um, the, the, it will give a log file of what what it didn't convert or certain screens, certain objects that, that may have been converted and want to look at that later on. <clears throat> but for, for the most part, it, it does a very good job um, on its own. And this goes hand in hand oftentimes with the Slick or PLC5 conversion, uh, where those that converter, I would say, gets us 90, 95% of the way, uh, way there. This one does, you know, 99% kind of thing. Oftentimes the biggest thing is just relinking the communication path um, honestly or that font issue there so okay here here's a few um, messages for us um, message display object will be converted to a multi-state indicator gives the location grid on it um, and all these errors have been logged to uh, user documents gives the path there the conversion log um, one other note blinking color images are not supported so some blinking thing might have to be done with an animation which we have available to now so pretty good I think let's let's see what it looks like here so I'm gonna go under my graphics my displays go to the main screen uh, that looks nice uh, go through a couple of these things here looks looks pretty good to me so Anyway, that's that's all we need to do for the conversion process. As always, um, my contact information will be down below. Uh, give us a holler if you need anything. Thanks. Bye.